Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and a new video all about rainy day outfits. I felt like this was quite a necessary one now that the weather has changed. And on the day I filmed this, it was pouring down, so I thought it was very fitting. An easy way to still look chic in the rain is by going for a tonal look. So this outfit is actually all from last year, but you could recreate something similar yourself. I've got this jumper on here from H&M, Massimo Duty trousers and Zara boots. And then the coat is actually from Mango this year and it's still available, so I will be linking it below but going head to toe one color makes a cozy comfortable look like this a little bit more elevated and chic I wanted to show outfits for different sorts of occasions and this is what you could wear if you're out and about during the daytime and wanted to look quite smart you could even probably wear this to work or a nice lunch or just something smart casual I've got this dress on here from Charlotte and Tess which is actually one from last year but I'll try and find something below my Sana New York trench dear Francis boots and pull M Paris bag I think when you're wearing a longer dress like this, you need to make sure that the coat is about the same length or a little bit longer over the top. And also on a rainy day, use accessories like the necklace to elevate the look. Next, I wanted to show you a way you can do a rainy day look with layers. So I've got my chunky Charles and Keith boots on. I think it's always a good idea to invest in a good pair of useful black boots. And I've gone for these white jeans from Under the Stories, paired it with an old H&M top, an Under the Stories gilet, and then my trench coat from Marcella London. I don't think you need to shy away from lighter colors, so use things like white jeans and make them more rain appropriate by pairing them with a chunky boot and oversized coat. So if you are going out and it's a wet evening out there and you don't want to wear strappy heels, I think heeled boots like these are the perfect alternative. And then just paired with a long skirt like this one from Zara. This one unfortunately is a few years old, but I always pull it out year after year. Again, cover this up with a really oversized coat. This one is from Giovanna London and I've paired it with my black polar neck jumper. So it's nice and warm, keeps you dry, but still looks chic. Next is a really easy weekend look. I've got these long boots on from Duo Boots. These are so comfortable and because they're high, they keep all of your leg dry. And then I've got these trousers on from New In Fashion. I've got my old Zara navy coat on with a new Cos navy jumper and I've just lightened it up a bit with this Polen bag um, in this beige shade. And one of my favorite things to do to look chic in autumn is to combine the same color jumper and coat together. An oversized scarf is always a really handy piece to have in your wardrobe at this time of year and it just provides that extra layer of protection, especially if you're wearing something that's not too heavy like a trench coat and you just want that extra warmth and protection from the rain. So here I've got this one on from Naked Fashion, some old H&M trousers, old Zara trainers and a jumper from Weekend Beyond. It's a really easy tonal look and I think if you wanted to wear it for work you could swap the trainers for a pair of smart boots. Next, a really easy way to look chic and elevate your outfit if you are keeping your coat on all day is to wear a belt over it like I've done here. So I've got my straight Zara coat on and then a belt from Marquette. And I think the trick here is to make sure your belt is a long one so it doesn't feel too stuffed up. And then I've just gone for these long tie up boots from Zara. Again, they keep you nice and dry and warm and this chunky bag to bring in a little bit of color. something slightly different it's nice to wear a skirt even if it's raining and an easy way to do this is by pairing it with some long chunky boots like these Zara ones again they keep you warm and dry and then paired with a longer trench coat like this leather one from Pixie Market again this is great because it's fully waterproof and I paired it with the darker jumper to balance out the shoes of leather converse are really useful 
when it rains. We don't always want to wear boots and some trainers are not very waterproof. So the leather high top version just provides that bit of protection. And then I've got this smart coat on here from Hush and this just counteracts the casualness of the trainers. And I've kept the rest of the outfit nice and simple with all black. Finally, I wanted to do another layering look. I love wearing my shirts in autumn, winter, but I combine them with a cardigan like the one I've got on here from Under the Stories for just that extra layer of warmth and protection. And then I've gone for a trench coat over the top, I think because the trench coats are quite roomy, it leaves space for layering underneath. Thank you so much for watching don't forget to hit that subscribe button give me a thumbs up if you like this video and i'll see you in the next one bye